guys welcome back to my channel little girl i'm into here and just in case you're seeing in my face for the first time you're welcome to join us so guys today we're going to be reacting to bill ball elion mox is not that smart Ooh. okay guys let's check it out and see what this one is about um i'll tell you a claim that i thought was pretty wild was uh, the Tesla guy whose name ex escapes me. Um, what do I think? Mosh. Nash. Musk. Why would you know? Elon, Elon Musk. Elon. 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 Um, Elon Musk was saying that um, he made a claim on a podcast that the birthing rate was way down with young people and that basically the world population was going to nosedive and that we were all going to go ah, extinct if you come to Nigeria. rather than it being some big nuclear war he thought we were just going to go extinct because everyone was going to stop having babies and i got to be honest with you that had to have been one of the dumbest things i've ever heard in my life you know, he goes like, that's, we're just going to go out with like a whimper. It's like, you don't think when people notice that we're becoming extinct that people won't then have babies? Maybe, did you ever think why they're not having babies? Maybe they're not having babies because they don't want to bring them into this fucked up world. If the population went down significantly and we could reverse what the fuck we're doing to the planet, maybe more people would feel like there's a reason to bring a life into the world. I don't think that everyone's just, just going to sit around going, well, no one's having babies. Looks like we're all going to go extinct. <laughs> it's how people laugh at his own jokes. Oh, I have a new funny. theory. Okay. Smart people who go on podcasts are not that smart. <laughs> all right. They're campaigning to be smart. That Neil deGrasse Tyson, Neil deGrasse I mean, when is he, when is he looking through a fucking microscope? Every time you see the guy, he's fucking on a podcast. I'm on a podcast. I went to summer school. I'm a moron. Campaigning to be Right, and then smart. somebody else. Oh, not look at me. Look at him, I'm going to make a smart. fucking, I'm going to make a fucking spaceship that goes to Mars. You're going to do it? You're going to sit down and do it? Or do you have the ability to organize and delegate it? where the really smart people that are making it don't have time to go on a fucking podcast. All of these fucking doctors and shit going on podcast. Shouldn't they be like, what? Hey, some comedian wants you to go on his podcast. I'm too busy curing cancer or trying to. I don't have time to go on and fucking try to explain what I'm doing to somebody with a fucking high school education. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I'm dumb. Maybe, like, that's what it is. I don't think, like, doctors who are on TV are that good at their no, job. No. I don't think fucking uh, therapists that host their own fucking talk show, I don't think they really give a shit about the mental health of other people. I just don't, I don't think they do. There's just something about it where it's just like, shouldn't you be, like, going out there, like, I don't, I'm not saying all of it. Like, I think chefs that are on TV are good at what they do. I'm not saying that they're the best, you know? I mean, I'm in this business. I know how that works. Just because you're on TV doesn't mean you're the best at what you do. Maybe you're the best at the business. Or maybe you caught a break. Or maybe you know somebody. But um, that whole fucking theory that, like, people are just going to stop having babies and, like, that's why we're going to go to extinct, it, it's got to be the dumbest thing. Uh, I've ever heard in my life because if that was actually the case then there really wouldn't be an abortion debate because there'd be no fucking babies to abort right um, now listen I know I don't have a shiny face in my own car company but I'm just going to say I don't think that that's the smartest theory out there oh my god shots fired alright I'm not even upset with Elon Musk. I'm just ex upset with other mouth-breathing morons like myself that we never question people like that. Well, you just kind of sit there going, like, or at least I don't. I just go, well, that guy's really successful. He must know things. And then every once in a while, I was like, well, if he's really that successful, what the fuck is he doing 
talking to people like me. Oh, who gives a shit? Um, people, like, one thing I don't like about his stuff is the, the cost. Like, the cost is too much. Ah, okay. I was like, I don't know the real talk where it's coming from, but the way Bill pretended not to know Elon Musk's name at the beginning. Come on, guy, you're gonna talk about someone that you say you don't know his name. No, I don't buy that part. It's okay if you don't like somebody, but pretend not to know the person's name to make it look as if you don't give it, you don't, you don't care. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. But, <laughs> but what I'm noticing is that because I'm living is. It's, it's not becoming, you see, guys, it's becoming so tough feeding the family. You know, back then, growing up, the here in Africa, back then, it was a man's job. I don't, I'm talking about here in Africa. I don't know how you guys do it there. Here in Africa, growing up, we knew that it was a man's job to provide for the family. Yeah? So, most families, you find the, the mothers at home taking care of the home front, making sure everything is in place while the, the man is out there. So then it was okay, like that one income, that one stream of income was like perfectly okay to raise the family. No matter the number of children, you see people having many children, but you see them being, still being able to take care of their children, send them to the schools they want. But right now, you've all what we have in our society, both mothers, and fathers, everybody's working there outside, out there, working. There's nobody going with the children again. Most of them is the maids. And you know, maids in Africa, most of them are so deep. You know, some of them that, that devils incarnate. They'll turn your kids into something that you don't know. Most of, there's nobody at home taking care of each other. Everybody's outside. Even with the two of them outside working, they come home. See, the money is not enough anymore. So people are not becoming wise. So what, instead of we bringing children to this society that will come and be suffering, why don't we streamline our resources, even down to the children, so people are not streamlining. So instead of giving birth to two children, can we give birth to one that will like take care of properly and you know stop bringing news and things to society? Me, I'm, I keep saying it. Isn't everybody that have to be a parent? Because some persons are they're not even meant to be a parent, like at all. They don't have any business whatsoever being a parent. Do you get? But then of course. Even at that, we still have, we still have more than you know. Our, the population in Nigeria is too much. It's too much. So America, people should not worry. Just give us visas. <laughs> people are people. They are even looking for it. Give them. They will come and populate your place. And they will. Do, they, are, they are. They are hard working. They are willing to do the job. They. They will do it. And of course, uh, the reason again, me another reason why I think the West might be experiencing that low, low number of population. Everybody is becoming gay. Everybody is becoming. Uh, today they woke up. Oh, I feel like a cow. I'm not a cow. Tomorrow I feel like a snake. I'm not a snake. So who will not be the one to give birth? Who would not do the work of birthing? Since everybody is not claiming to be what they are not. So, what do you expect? What do you expect? But of course, population. I don't think we will be running out of population anytime soon because you have Africa, you have China, you have India. So don't worry. We we'll always come. And you know, replace where or you know, fix where it needs to be fixed. <laughs> oh my god! But then, of course, yeah, I guess, um, I don't know where the whole entirety of the discussion came from. Oh, yeah, so guys, until I come in next time, guys, don't forget to like my like this video, subscribe, and let me know your what your thoughts are in the comment section. Until I come in next time. Until I come your way next time, take care of yourself, be you, do you, but do not conform to what you're not or what you're not meant to be. Yes. So take care of yourself, guys. Bye.